missed you so much since you've been gone. Thank you. No new... No, not you. Oh, Kelly Clarkson? No, no not Kelly Clarkson. Oh. Who? The man that's, that's stopped the production of one of the most popular sitcoms ever. Oh, Chuck. The man that made that show. Yeah. Forget about John Cryer. Oh, Although, he, no. he has a good sense of humor about, about his position. Yeah, there. but he's not the show. He's not the show. No. He's not the show. Uh, forget about the fat kid. Well, she's not even really that fat anymore. I guess he's kind of grown up. Right. Grew out of his baby chunk. It's all about Charlie Sheen. It is all. It, it really is. We had a big dose of crazy. Then he kind of backed off for a little while. Then he's out on, on tour doing his show. Mm -hmm. He was just in New York on Friday night playing Madison Square Garden. Right. And, of course, somebody asked him if he wanted to go back to do his show, if he wanted to start working at it. And he said, yes, I want to go do the show so people can watch the best bleep and sitcom ever. No, I agree. Now, what that sounds to me... Is like it sounds like he's uh, he's in a very prideful way asking for his job back. Okay, well that's fine. You can ask for your job back. True, even though he's pretty much burned every bridge he's got. So my question, when I heard this quote that he had uh, thrown out there, was, "Would you accept him back?" Now, obviously, mm -hmm. he is in the midst of a major problem in his life. He is. Right? He's got yeah. some severe addiction issues. Yes. Um, and so, so, some severe mental issues because of that addiction. Right. But I want to know, 260-9870, would you take him back on the show? Oh, that's such a hard question. You know? Because I, you and I don't agree on this. I love the show. Right. I love I think it. it's garbage, but regardless, it's popular and I get it. Mm, but I don't know if I I don't know. It's a good question. Okay. 260-9870, or you can text us at 411-987, of course. Um, that's brought to us by Sanderson Volvo. Just quick question. Here's the thing. You want to see the guy get back on his feet because it seems like he might be a nice guy when he's not cracked out. Yeah. You know? And you want to see the show come back because obviously a lot of people like it. It's a great show. I'm going to say yes, I can take him back. You can take him back. I think I can take him back, I think. All right, 260-9870. That's the number. We'll go ahead and uh, get some of your responses here in a minute. Chris and Amy in the morning, 987 The Peak. It has come down to this, and we knew it would happen. Sooner or later, he would sober up, and he would beg for his job back. I would. Not on bended knee. No. But in Charlie Sheen's own way. Yes, I would love to go back to work. Uh-huh. All of a sudden, they're no longer trolls. <laughs> well, I'm sure he still thinks they're trolls. He may, but, he but he's not he voicing his, it now. He needs his job back. His I mean, job back. Look at the child support he's got to pay. Apparently, the touring show isn't paying as much as he thought it would. Well. So here's the question. Do you take him back? Mm -hmm. After what has happened, do you take him back? Do you give him a redemption? 260-9870. We've got uh, Emily on the phone. Emily, go ahead. Do you take Charlie Sheen back for two and a half men? No. He needs to be accountable for the things that he spouted off over the Internet. Okay. Absolutely not. He's a loser. Okay, so you wouldn't take him back, even though it's a scripted show, not real life. No. No, you're, you're done. Not. I'm done. And you wouldn't watch it, even though even though you, you don't want him to come back. He has to be accountable. That's that's what you say. And they let's say they put him back on the show. Would you watch it? No, absolutely not. Not even once. Not even once. Do you watch it now? Uh, yeah, actually I do. Okay. Okay. All right. Fair Good enough. Call, Sticks to her guns and her big it, guns. I'm so done. back it up, <laughs> Emily. Thank you, Kimbo. Hi. Yeah, you called me that last time. My husband used to call me that. That's your that's your new name. Pardon me? That's your new name. Oh, God. Is it my new name? Okay. I would just go ahead and change it on your birth certificate now. <laughs> Sorry, Kim. <laughs> would you Would you go ahead and still watch the show, or or are you going to hold them accountable? I definitely would because of the fact I I've ha I have a past. Um, it was a short period of my life. And, I mean, you, yeah, if, you, if he can learn from what he's gone through and look, look at it as, you know, yeah, definitely. Everybody has a second chance. So, and he's great. He's great when he's great, and he's bad when he's bad. You know what I mean? Absolutely. All right. Thanks so much for calling in. Uh, let's see. we got Lisa in. Oh, oh, okay. Lisa, good morning. How are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Doing yeah. well. Do you take him back or no? I say take him back under the, under the stipulation that he drug tests every 30 days, and as long as he's clean, go for it. Granted, this isn't his second chance. Let's, let's admit it. This is like his hundredth chance. No, that's true. That's but you brought true. up a great point about an actor. Amy was talking about, who was it earlier? Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, what about him? He's had 5,000 chances. Right, and I mean, like like everybody says, I mean, when he's when they're sober, they're great. So make him go through rehab, do that whole ordeal, and then just drug test him randomly every 30 days. And if he comes up dirty, boot him and that's it. You're done. That's okay. it. So one more chance. Thanks so much, Lisa. Monica and Phoenix, go ahead. 
Yeah, there's no way I would take him back. He, he's just too unpredictable. You don't know what he's going to do. You don't know what he's going to say. And what's going to happen the next time he does this six months down the road? Then you'll be stuck again. No, that's true. Monica, we did have a text, though, that said, listen, that was his character on the show is doing what he does in real life. And that's kind of what made it funny. Yeah, it doesn't make it funny when you're living it and you see that, you know, he's not necessarily putting his children in danger, but at the same time, if he's on TV, kids are going to watch that. People yeah. are going to watch that. And it's just, you don't know. He's just too unpredictable. I wouldn't yeah. trust them. You know okay. what? And normally okay. I'd say, well, children don't. They, thank you, by the way. Thanks, for calling Mom. Him normally I'd say children don't raise kids. Parents do. Yeah. But if you think about it, look at the generation of girls that are now in their early 20s. Yeah. Now, when I say that, what I mean by that, I guess, is they kind of grew up in that whole, I'm Paris Hilton. Oh, God. And I'm famous because I'm famous. That's why. And they have a sense of entitlement. Yeah, absolutely. And they don't feel that they need to work hard for what they get, is what I feel. It is disgusting. And yeah. like the funny thing is, is I see it hugely with that crowd. Like, if you're a freshman or, uh, not so much a freshman, but like a sophomore or junior in college, you are completely unaware of actually being, you know, known for your brains or your whatever. I shouldn't say all of them. I'm being very general, but you know what I mean? The majority. Absolutely. What do you have for text messages? Uh, for text messages, we have got one uh, that says, absolutely, I love that show. Thank you, Don. Hi, my name is Heaven. I think you put him back on the show. Who cares about his past? Look at half of the other messed up stars. We've got Corey, who is 17 from Chandler. She says, yes, I would take him back. Charlie Sheen is two and a half men. He is, or at least one of yeah. the two and a half. Someone else <laughs> says, hell no, have we not heard of Tough Love? Tough Love for who? For Charlie Sheen. But think about it, if I'm a producer. It's Tough Love for you. I don't care about Tough Love for him. I don't care if he ODs and knocks himself off the face of the planet. I want to make some cash. That's right. So, interesting I don't know. stuff. I think we're split 